Um, Dallin Pedrbeski, District Operations Manager for North Alford District. Uh, I've been working with the ministry since April 2009. I was the uh, equipment operator of Radisson section uh, before I took this position. Supervised in Keniston for a winter. Um, other than that, I got two kids. Uh, well, three kids. One stepdaughter, one uh, one daughter. She's six. The other stepdaughter, six. And uh, you got a seven-month-old at home. Uh, the accident with the torch uh, happened uh, two winters ago when I was supervising in Keniston. We had a uh, truck go down. We were already short on trucks. Uh, what seemed to be a simple fix at the time, it was a hydraulic fitting off of the wing toe lift cylinder. Uh, we went to repair the truck. We couldn't get the fitting out of the cylinder because it was up against the wing frame of the truck. So I worked with the mechanics to let's see if it was okay if I can just cut the wing, wing frame a little bit to uh, remove the fitting. Uh, when I was underneath the truck, I was uh, laying on my side with my left ear in the air. Um, I had a Heli Hansen fire retardant two clone at the time, but it must have rolled up. And when I was cutting, cutting the wing frame, I caught a piece of slag in the ear. I uh, heard it bounce around in there and, and bubbled. Um, kind of lost a little bit of hearing for a bit. Went to the doctor uh, immediately after and there was no damage to the eardrum, but it was still kind of one of those things where, uh, especially with my good ear too, I can deafen my right ear. So, <laughs> uh, it was just kind of one of those things that kind of made you think about how bad it could have gone. Worst thing that could have happened was the piece of slag would have touched my eardrum and, and uh, ultimately we, I'd have been completely deaf in my left ear. Uh, close calls when driving plow, I've been through everything where drivers have uh, cut me off unintentionally, uh, given me the uh, international hello wave with the middle finger and cutting me off and uh, almost running over my plow with the uh, trailer they were driving. Uh, I mean, when I say almost, you know, touching the plow, like the, our marker for the plow actually hit the trailer as it went by. Uh, that just doesn't happen once a day. That's you know that's a regular occurrence. Uh, near misses. Just last winter, I was following one of my operators in my uh, personal half and going to Saskatoon, and uh, watched one of my operators almost get wiped out by a semi trying to cut me off and get around the snowplow truck. My attitude towards safety changed uh, ever since you know that kind of an incident or even being on the highway. I'm, I'm really more conscious on, on what I'm doing. I know like even one morning like uh, what really kind of sunk into me even just around the snow plowing like uh, you know my, I was getting ready on a, on a Saturday I got a call I had my daughter and uh, she was you know she just woke up she was telling me you know be safe dad be safe don't come home tonight and I guess that's kind of maybe almost the turning point in, in actually feeling any kind of uh, you know, immortality, I guess. New employees, um, you know, you know, you think you can do it all, you can't. Uh, just think of what you're doing, take the time to really, really think of what the consequences of your actions could be. Um, I know from my younger years, I can't really, I can't preach that too hard because I was only, always the one to jump in head first and do before I actually thought about what I was doing. Um, but even stepping foot on that highway, I mean, really pay attention to what the traffic's like. You can set the tone right away and, and judge what the day is gonna be like. So.